Another creator ruins himself. An unfortunate yet very frequent occurrence that takes place with gaming YouTubers is when they blow up, it's usually not because of their personality, but it's rather because the game they're playing is really hot. And the only reason that they tune into you is because they want to see the game. True, this is common. And after the popularity of a, fa a game fades, so do they game you're playing they don't really care about what you have to say your brand your personality etc which is why a lot of the time when a game starts to fall off a lot of the biggest creators for that game begin to fall off too a great example of this is tsm myth and i know someone's gonna comment like oh myth catching strays i'm not trying to be mean to him i'm just using him as an example but back in 2017 to 2018 myth was getting tens of thousands of people tuning into his streams on twitch where he was playing fortnite at the height of the game's popularity and nowadays you can catch him streaming to literally 60 views viewers on YouTube, and this is not because Myth was caught smuggling cocaine through the southern border and trafficking, none of that took- Was Myth the Fortnite streamer who quit Twitch and then got a 10 million YouTube deal? Or was that another one? And then he stre- uh, then he's streaming on average for a hundred people nowadays. Oh man, that's crazy. YouTube spent 10 million on a guy who's averaging a hundred people per stream. If the world isn't fair, I don't know what is. Took place, you know, he wasn't even controversial at all. The game that he just played when it was really popular was the reason for his blow up and now that the game isn't as good and not as popular, neither is he. Now what happened to Myth is actually happening to a lot of Valorant creators right now. Valorant Ooh. right now is definitely declining in popularity. I can sit here and theorize why that might be forever. I mean, I'm sure it has to do with a number of things, probably the game's updates, the community becoming incredibly cringe and pushing players away. Uh, half of the community is foodies at this point. The prices of skins in the game being so ridiculously expensive, it's unbelievable. Like, in this economy, Riot Games expect someone to drop the money they'd spend on groceries on, like, a bundle. And on top of everything, the game's been out for four years now, and people just lose interest over time. <laughs> Now, one creator who is fall that's pretty accurate, I feel falling off in a big way, who I think deserves it is Shazam. Shazam is a professional Valorant player for the. I have never heard of this person, but just the hair alone tells me it's 100% justified. Team Sentinels. <laughs> and he has one of the biggest egos in the entire game. The biggest indicator of this is the fact that he will literally copyright strike content that criticizes him if that content- Should I be watching this in this case? I- I- oof. Oh, this could be painful. Utilizes his clips. Now, this violates not only YouTube's terms of service, but it violates copyright law. The YouTuber WestJet made a video criticizing Shazam, and Shazam responded on a stream talking shit back to WestJet. And so naturally, WestJet made a video responding to his response, and Shazam decided to copyright strike that video. He was able to do this because WestJet used some of- The copyright strike abusing is just evil. And the thing is, if you're a known creator who does this, man, you're kind of just digging your own grave. So not only is it bad, but it's really stupid. Quote unquote, his content in the video. When in reality, the clip WestJet used was just Shazam talking about him on stream. I mean, this guy's a fucking loser, to be honest. WestJet's biggest re relevance is saying the N word. He got so much relevance from saying the n-word on stream that he started being as edgy as possible so then he proceeded to lie and said my only relevancy was for saying the n-word which is not true it was for saying the f <laughs> jokes aside we're all made up a bunch of stuff said i said words on stream that are very no no very bad gamer words and uh, you know that never happened he basically made up a bunch of stuff so he was calling me out for not knowing the situation and making stuff up and then immediately started making stuff up and lying about me so i pointed out this hypocrisy called him a clown called him an egghead poo poo head and said that i think he smells like cheetos and then bro committed a cardinal youtube sin and false flagged my video when the only thing i reacted to was him talking about me this was crazy shazam never apologized for this he never did anything to correct course on this the only thing he did in response was block westjet on twitter now a lot smart smart a competitive professional move i should also say who hasn't done it and after reaped the greatest rewards possible AK being destroyed on the internet for clearly being an idiot.
of you guys know that story but i just wanted to include it to give you some broader context now one thing that took place recently that's made people also criticize shazam is that his girlfriend who also streams valorant got herself into some controversy the story is that she was streaming valorant and everybody was dead except for one person on her team and a dude on her team made a call out basically saying to that person who was alive like yo you can do this i forget the exact call out but i'm gonna assume it was useful and then she responds to the call out that wasn't even meant for her by saying she knows like responding on the other person's behalf being like she knows and someone on her team basically called her out after that response being like who says he knows after someone makes a calm the whole thing is pretty petty and it devolves kind of fast into like an argument and uh it just ends up with the girl yeah that sounds about right for a gamer girl to get in an argument like this not gonna lie complete stereotype what are you gonna do sue me go ahead it's true and you know it girl saying the joys of being a I'm tired of us not being able to just say the most obvious. This is all. This is the pettiness level only a female gaming streamer could actually get into ever in her life. Okay, if a man does anything similar, it just evolves in, in into a huge monkey brawl very fast, and then it's over and everyone moves on. So yeah woman this is what it's basically implying that like oh if she was a guy and said the same thing that it wouldn't have had that response of people criticizing her anyway so the dude that she was arguing with ended up being a pretty big valorant editor slash creator and he posted the clip on twitter and it garnered 17 million views and mm. shazam respond yeah i completely never knew about this thankfully that's why i don't follow valorant on to the tweet defending his girlfriend saying it's always great to be able to edit videos and make it look exactly how you want bro he posted the whole fucking clip dude i love the i love this defense of oh you're just taking this out of context it's a five minute video with the start and finish what do you mean out of context Oh, how you can just call anything out of context nowadays and some people will still believe you it's is is mind blowing honestly. You're bound on you. Critical thinking is not a skill nowadays. It's a gift you either have or don't. She knows. She knows. Okay. <laughs> Yo, we are unironically on yep. five rounds in. Who the fuck is so angry? Wait. Wait, why how are we I angry? Mad at comms or what? No, Who the fuck says he knows when like you're doing a good comm? That's a Cause... good comm. Because no she knows. I never like, said it was... Why do you have attitude? What the how, fuck? how is that attitude? Oh yeah, I actually understand. Yeah, she's she's clearly in the wrong, okay? Now seeing the clip, yeah, it, yeah. I know when I have my own. I don't need... I don't like, going when people call the bullets in your gun, I'm not gonna be like, I know, like, this is no, a good call. There's extra info. I, I said she knows because she knew. I don't fucking care. You're Stop the one who's on my ass saying I have attitude and shit. Yeah, that's like, true. What? Yeah, Dude, obviously. The joys of being a woman. <laughs> you guys are hella fucking weird, by the way. The, the she mean the joys of being a woman, aka just doing whatever you please at random and then just saying, oh, you're just saying that because I'm a woman? Ah, the typical defense. Let's see. Well, we already know that this doesn't play out. Good. Fucking loser fucks, loser freak fucks. Our team is terrible, also. Nani? I hope these two. Is she the second verse player? Also needs that therapy. Still has a platform. Is light edits somebody? Light edits. Wow. How can you be so angry? You edit Valorant videos. Shazam says that he can edit the. Clip. Yeah. This is unquestionably a completely horrible look. Clip to make it look however he wants. And it's rightfully horrible, yes. It's as if he actually changed the clips or like what was being said. Like, no, all he did was give the two POVs and add colorful text on the screen. You guys were being weird all game. Bro, you weren't even in the game. <laughs> That's just how she talks and people think it's attitude because it's not necessarily- Well, yeah, it's definitely attitude. Soft uwu voice. This is pretty lame to do, dude. Your team was instigating the whole game. Do better. Oh, do man, better. he dropped the do better at the end of it. Yeah. Anyone who writes a tweet- Holy, that's, he, he probably got his tips from Pokemon right there. Woof.
and then signs it off by saying, do better. I want them detained by the federal government and thrown inside of a prison. Don't ever tell me to do better through a tweet, bro. You're not my teacher. You're not my parents, okay? You're not Joey Swole. You're not Mr. Beast. You're not God. Don't tell me to do better. Do better is so- Putting Gabe in his God pretty accurate to a degree. It's true. Fucking vague. Like, what do you even mean? Like, what are you actually trying to tell me to do? Instructions unclear. I unfortunately ended up harassing minorities. Like, you know what I mean? Do better how? <laughs> do better in what way? Do better when? I'd rather you just criticize me and tell me to uninstall Valorant and destroy my computer because then at least I know what I'm being told to do. Do better. I'm showing up at your house, bro. Also, Juna posted this clip apparently trying to prove that the guy was being sexist and trying to harass her. Yep, that seems about right, uh, the right response you would expect in a situation like this from someone clearly in the wrong. Something something grasping at something something straws, I think, right? It's, honest, uh, it's honestly just a massive nothing burger, but I will put, uh, put it right here anyway. Anyways. This one is rare because... Oh my god, guys, you go, you go. Outlawing. Who's this viper? This name, this uh, voice sounds so familiar. Who's this viper? I'm so familiar. It's our Duna. Isn't Duna the one that has like the ego? <laughs> She's famous, guys. I'm just about to not hide my name. Oh my god. Uh, I was literally about to hide my name and I saw nobody was live with the viewers. Because I, no, I don't follow Duna. And I was like, alright, I'm gonna just hide my name, zero delay, because I'm not gonna get into any yes. streamer games. They have a chamber. Like, what is this comm? Come on, guys, they have a chamber? Like, what? What the fuck type of comm is that, bro? Don't piss do. me off. Really, I, mean, I don't know what that means. Come be right. Oh, chamber is a, is a hero and he's OP or something. Uh, with you. Right. Yo, what is wrong with Juna, bro? Ain't no way she- it's fucking Shazam's girlfriend. She has an ego because she's dating a pro player. He's lit, no? Did anyone hit him? They're not good. <laughs> Yo, fuck her up, amigo. I got you, bro. One HP, I won life. Amy! Who- who's the clove? I'm gonna do research. Who's this clove? Nice. The club is Luna Fox? I thought Luna. Oh, man, almost got cancelled. Not a bad time. <laughs> Yo, guys, everyone going to chat and spam light edits is the best or some shit. I don't know. Are you saying they were being that weird within three rounds leading up to this? How weird can people be in three rounds and even then, why aren't they just muted already? He responds by saying, you ever seen the people that play Valorant ranked before, bro? Is that really a surprise to you? Just mute them isn't the answer, Vol. It still affects the person. He responds by saying, dog, if you can't mute someone and be like, they're a f- Oh, 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 I didn't- I, I, I just heard this being read and I'm like, wait a minute, this, uh, this sounds kind of stupid. I didn't- It's the guy. <laughs> That's why it sounds so dumb. Affects the person. He responds by saying, Dog, if you can't mute someone and be like, they're a freak, oh well, and it's not gonna bother you, seek therapy. You have way deeper internal issues going on. Then he Dude, he should have said do better. Says, isn't that what she did? And this guy made a whole Twitter edit of it. That's obviously not what she did. She did not mute these people. Is this yeah. guy, like, okay in the head? Is he insane in the brain? Now, this was a pretty embarrassing display from Shazam, but not as embarrassing as if you go to his YouTube channel and actually look at the current state of his content. If you look up the word Shazam, his channel doesn't even pop up, which I guess makes sense because he is competing with that movie about the superhero Shazam, so... Um, no, this actually is not true in a lot of cases. The, sh the channel should pop up. We'll give him a pass on that. But when you eventually find his channels, I mean, dude, he Yeah, this does not look good. There's videos that literally have a thousand views on it, man. Like, oh my goodness. 37 minutes. How unlikable is this person? I really wonder. He too is looking dominant. Shazam reacts. It has a thousand views. The one nine days ago, 2,000 views. 12 days ago, 3,000 views. Now, his one eight days ago got 32k views. But, but if you click on the video, it's got like so many dislikes. More dislikes than likes. And the whole Why? comment section is basically just roasting him. So they're all hate watching him because of WestJet and because of videos criticizing him. Nobody huh. is there to be like, wow, this was uh, this was awesome. This was a great video I just watched. Everyone's like, dude, you copyright striked WestJet. You're Cringe oh, that makes sense then why it has so much more views. On Twitter, you fell off. We don't like you. Which I think is definitely deserved. I don't think copyright abuse- Yep, definitely seems like it. Again, this happens constantly, honestly. 
Uh, new game pops off, some some people get all the views, typically because they're good at the game. That's how this happens, that's why there's a lot of pro players that I've known, but they don't have any uh, real audience on Twitch or YouTube or whatever. And the, the moment the game starts to fall off, no one cares about them because, you know, hey, there, there are probably better people out there at that point, and the only reason why they got watched in the first place is because they're good at the game. Don't know if this guy's actually good at the game, but whatever. Anyway, that was a Cheeto. This was Quizzer Sin. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, and already, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.